Hundreds come together tonight to support a local musician who lost his home in a fire while on vacation. Completely destroyed after catching fire, not once, but twice. Luckily, no one was hurt, but look at all of this damage over here. I've never seen so many fire trucks coming down the street. He's a very loved man. And yeah, he's also probably one of the most outstanding historical musical figures in this town. Seven of his cats died, only one survived. That was his kids, those were his children. He's lived here for 21 years. Officials believe an electrical failure in the basement caused the fire. The fire crews just called it. They say this is a total loss. Hello everyone, I'm Todd Zilla. On June the 16th of this year, my home on Forest Avenue in East Nashville burned very, very badly. The fire started uh, from the HVAC unit. Uh, a couple of wires sparked in the basement ceiling and um, caught the insulation on fire. The draft from the attic pulled the flames up and it became a column of fire within minutes and then uh, went up through the floor of the kitchen and burned out the whole back of the house. The house actually burned four times. Uh, the fire department came and put it out, left. It smoldered in the attic because of old insulation. They had to come back and that repeated itself four times before they finally got it out. Both Abby and I are struggling very hard to cope with it. We, lost, we both lost family heirlooms. Uh, I lost handwritten notes from my mother, family pictures, seven of my eight cats. A uh, couple of them I'd had for over a decade. Almost all of my music gear, stuff that I had collected for from over 30, 40 years of playing, my pride and joy was completely annihilated. A group of my neighbors, some of whom I didn't even know on a first name basis, about 20 of them had a party for us as a benefit. And one by one, they came up and introduced themselves and they hugged us and told us how much they loved having us in the neighborhood and begged us to rebuild our home. When we went to pull the permits to start demolition of the house, the Historical Commission in Nashville stepped in and said, wait a minute, you can't tear this down because it's in a historical overlay. Uh, the overlay protects old structures from being demolished so that developers can't come in and put up houses that don't fit the neighborhood. Now I've lived in East Nashville for 22 years. Over the years East Nashville and Lachlan Springs have become a one of the most sought-after real estate areas in the country. I renovated my home myself and I turned it into something special that many of my neighbors would stop me in my front yard and frequently and say your house is the, my favorite one on the block. Renovating my house and making it something special added to that image of the neighborhood. The proposed repairs of my home that the historic overlay is mandating, refurbishing and rehabilitating the remaining third or so of the structure is so very expensive that the estimates to do so are about a hundred thousand dollars more than if we were able to take the house down to the foundation and rebuild a replica. I can afford to demolish it to the foundation and build it back but I cannot afford the cleaning and rehabilitation of 100 year old smoke encrusted boards. What I'm faced with is spending an extra hundred thousand dollars to cobble together a home from one third of a hundred year old house and two thirds of a new house and there's no guarantees that it won't smell like smoke forever. If the Historical Commission will not approve the demolition of my home and they forced me to leave that portion standing and rehabilitate it. 
most likely I'll be forced to sell my property and abandon my life and after everything else that we've been through that's just an unimaginable thought I don't think the historical overlay exists to push out a long-time resident who suffered a tragedy it's there to preserve the character of the neighborhood and I believe that the character is not only exemplified by the architecture of the old houses the character is made up of the people that live there as well I believe that my neighbors would rather see a replica of my house with me living in it than to see the facade of it preserved so that someone else could take it over after I'm pushed out. Thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you'll take the time to sign the petition and spread the word. We need to let the Historical Commission know that the people of Nashville want them to do the right thing. Thank you.